Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixel Lab. I have a few quick tips when it comes to using fog in Cinema 4D and a few problems that you might run into. All right, so I have this nice little scene and I wanna add some haze to the background. Now, if you've been using Octane, you know that there are at least three or four different ways to add fog. One of the ways is right in your Octane Daylight tag. So let's jump into our Medium tab in the Daylight tag and click Add Fog. And let's go into our scattering medium and play with the density. Let's crank that way up. And you're gonna see a few things. First of all, it uh, darkens up the scene and makes it pretty muddy. It doesn't look that great. And also we have this really weird fringe thing that's happening. Now this is the fringe of the light, kind of the bounding box of the light when it interacts with the background. You can see that whenever it hits the background, you're gonna get this weird fringe. And this is also the case if you have a plane that has a texture on it that has an alpha channel. So fog doesn't really play well with alpha channels and I'm gonna give you a few ways to work around it. So you can see this even more dramatically if I go to the beginning, all these little lights on here, you have this gross little bounding box around them. All right, so when you add a fog to the octane daylight, for some reason it adds the absorption and the scattering RGB as gray. And if we change this gray to white, it's gonna clear up our issue. So just like that, we're gonna clear up that ugly bounding box and we're gonna solve our issue. Now, it does change the fog, so we have to go back into our medium and play around with the density again. And we're gonna have to play around with that. But that's kind of strange that it defaults to gray. I'm not sure why it does that, but that's gonna get rid of that problem. Now, I have a few other examples I wanna walk you through really quick. All right, so besides adding fog right into the daylight, there are a couple other ways that we can do it. One way is to go to our objects and our fog volume. That's gonna add fog into our scene. First thing we have to do is make sure this fog volume fills up our whole scene. And we're gonna do that under the generate and the size. So we'll kick that up a little bit just so that the fog fills our whole scene. Then we can go into our medium tab, into our medium. And let's play with the density. We'll drop that down a little bit. So as this render resolves, you can see that we still have this fringe around both of these elements. So for some reason, the Octane Daylight tag, if you change it to white, it usually clears up your issues, but under the volume fog, it doesn't if you change it to white. So for some reason, uh, that just is a no-go with Alpha Channel, so we're not gonna use the volume. All right, so those are the two ways that you can add fog. Let's explore the third way, and this is probably the best under this scenario. So let's add a cube and we'll scale it up to fit our whole scene. But you wanna make sure that your camera is outside of the scene. Now we're sort of treating this like a fog volume, but we're gonna customize the material to go onto this cube ourselves, just so that we have a little bit more control over it. All right, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is add a specular material. Let's open that up. And we're gonna make this completely see-through. So we'll go to our index and make it one. So it's completely see-through. And let's put this on our cube. And right now nothing's changed because we can see right through it. But we're going to go to that medium channel and add our own medium. So we're going to add a scattering medium by clicking this button. And if we go into it, you'll notice that we don't have those gray or white options under absorption and scattering. So we have to add those ourselves. We're going to do that with a C4D Octane RGB spectrum. So we'll add that into the absorption. And we'll also put that in the scattering C4D uh, RGB spectrum and now we have our fog set up. We can just play with the density and drop that down a little bit and see what we have going on here. All right, so we'll let this resolve and you'll notice that everything is looking good. We have our light source coming in, but we cannot see the, uh, the bounding box of it. And we also have our alpha texture and we don't see the fringe of it. So this cube option with making this uh, specular material and setting up the medium, this is probably your best bet for doing fog. Um, if you're gonna use alpha channel or you don't wanna see your lights in this scene. So this is a bit of a workaround and uh, this is probably your best bet. And one thing I did notice is that occasionally there's a bug and it will show your light in here, but if you go to your octane light and you uncheck visible on specular, um, that will fix your problem. So if visible on specular is turned on, you'll be able to see your light even though the opacity is all the way down. Um, but if we Uncheck visible on specular, there you go, it disappears. All right, so that is three different ways you can use fog. It's good to know that there's multiple ways to do it and each one has its own strengths. So at least if you run into some problems, this might give you some possible solutions. Hope that you found that useful. Thanks for checking out Pixel Up. Talk to you next time.